Update 14 just hit and the servers restarted so we are finally in game and the update is live. It looks like we also got a brand new blog post so we can actually go through and read and see all of the changes for ourselves before we start going through and looking for it. Alright you guys so you can see if we go to the big games website we have the summer obby world blog post. So this must have just came out so we're just going to read through it really quickly to see what we can expect from this update. Now we were able to find out that my initial assumption about what the obby world was going to be was completely wrong with the leak that we got yesterday from big games it turns out the whole world itself is just an obby and it's not just filled with multiple obbies inside the world like i thought it was going to be so shout out to big games that's actually a really good idea this looks really cool so it seems like we have to do an obby to get to each of the new areas and then once you get that area unlocked i guess you could teleport to it so that's actually a really cool idea I i'm glad they did something like this if we read it here, it says discover midi islands scattered around the world and you can find things like upgrades, relics, rewards, and even eggs with increased huge chances. So that's really cool. I guess we did get another free to play huge this update. Big Games has really been on top of it with the free to play huges. So shout out to them for that. It also looks like we got some brand new pets. So we got 12 new pets, which I think is the same we got in the uh, first police update. So that makes sense. I would assume this means that we have four new eggs with three new pets in each of them. So that's pretty cool. Plus two new huge pets. So that's actually really big. We got the huge pineapple monkey. So this is going to be found in the Obby World eggs and mini games, summer gifts and summer pack. Okay, so we got a new forever pack too, which is like the summer pack. So the huge pineapple monkey is the free to play huge right here. And then the huge sun agony is going to be the one that's in the forever pack that you can only get by paying a win. Discover many islands around the world offering up to 10 times increased huge chance. So that's pretty big. And then after these new eggs, we have the new global event. So in this global event, we're going to be collecting seashells, I guess. So this is to replace that prison key event that we had prior to this. And then each quest completes grants another reward. So it's basically just the uh, global event thing that we had before. But instead of collecting prison keys, we are now collecting seashells. So I definitely wonder if this a global event is going to be harder than the previous one because people were getting a ton of these global event gift bags. So I wonder if it's going to be similar to this update. And then on to the summer gift. So 500 seashells is what gets us the summer gift. And from the summer gift, you can get that free to play huge, which is the huge pineapple monkey, water blaster, surfboard, summer boost. So this is just like the summer overall gift thing we get. And then the seashell machine is what we use to make the summer gift. So that's really cool. Let's keep moving on though. All right. And then the first of the mini games we have is actually this Tiki egg hunt. So in the description, it says there's eggs waiting to be found. The egg hunt starts in 207 every four hours. Find eggs with different rarity with up to 100% increase. So this is how you get the, the 100 times chance egg. I am definitely curious on how this one works. We'll have to wait and see for it to actually be active. And then we also got another jungle boss fight. So this is another boss fight kind of like we had in the deep back rooms with that big boss. If you guys remember last time, that big boss actually was pretty good. And all of the chests that were around the boss actually actually gave pretty decent loot so I wonder if this is going to be something similar it says the boss fight starts every four hours though I don't really like that I actually really hate timed events in this game pretty much any event that you actually just got to show up for at a specific time every four hours it's just not it's just not a good method of gameplay for me personally so we'll have to wait and see if people actually like this and see how good the loot is I guess is probably the most important part and then of course we have the summer forever pack very interesting they're definitely going to be making a new forever pack for each kind of update we have because they've been absolutely milking off of this I could already see the titles from all of the youtubers spending a hundred thousand robux on the summer pack oh my god same thing every week oh my god Anyways, so it seems like from the summer pack, you could pretty much get all the same thing from the summer gifts. I'm not sure if that is an accurate representation, but you could also only get the huge sun agony from this. So that's very important as well. I'm surprised they don't add like some really cool stuff in there to get more people interested in it because it doesn't seem like they really added too much to the pack compared to what we had available before. And this right here is that new summer booth that is found in the gifts and the uh, summer pack. So that's cool. 
little surfboard which fits the summer theme a little water blaster item so i assume this is going to be like that snowball gun that we had before definitely cool to have any like fun additional items to the game like this and then on top of that we also got a brand new rank 30 it seems like getting a new ranks in this game don't really do anything so i'm not sure if they're just going to keep adding ranks and having basically no benefits for still ranking up but i think either way it's still always a good thing to have new ranks just something new for people to grind for in the game we also got clan settings where we can change description and icon so nothing too crazy the current clan battle ended so we still have to wait a week to see what the new one is and that seems like pretty much it the final thing we have here are some changes so it looks like they changed the diamond party to be 20 million diamonds now honestly people being able to give away even more diamonds is never a bad thing so i definitely support this change made prison keys tradable that's actually pretty crazy that's gonna change a lot in the game especially for those clans that have been grinding all this time probably have like something like 10,000 golden keys those people are definitely going to be able to make bank from selling these so i'm actually very surprised that they made these tradable and there's definitely no way they didn't lower the odds of getting that huge prison cat because the amount of prison cats that would be open because of this change would be absolutely crazy i'm sure they lowered the chances of getting it but they also lowered the drop rates of these keys so maybe they didn't change the drop rates of the huge itself and they just decided that maybe changing the rate of the keys being dropped is good enough i guess they also went ahead and extended the time you have to transfer from petsim x to petsim 99 so that's good for people that haven't done that yet they also fixed the auctions getting stuck that's actually a huge issue we've had that for months now so they also fixed the lucky block thing that's also been an issue for a few months now so glad they're finally stepping up for that one and then they also did some lag changes and some other little quality of life stuff so that's really cool let's actually hop in and look at some of these changes ourselves all right so now we are a few minutes into the update already so we do have the cannon to go so it looks like every new world and little update that we get is just going to be using this void world. So this void world is basically the hub to all of the worlds. Honestly, though, this is pretty cool because I think it means that you can actually like leave your pets auto farming in one part of the world and then go to a different part like go to the prison world if you want so that's actually really cool this is a really good addition because it would be quite a pain to have to teleport to each of the new worlds and like have to load in and load your pets back up each time so that's really good addition from them let's actually hop over to the obby world now all right so i guess we'll have my face on this side of the video this time around let me know in the comment section whether you like it like this or not but it seems like we have the same area quest that we had in the prison world so i actually really support this and off the bat we don't really have much here in the spawn but i'm sure we will unlock a lot as we go let's just unlock this egg and see what pets we have i'm gonna open up some of these eggs so we can actually go through to the next area doing that should be enough and then we unlock 206 so that's perfect pretty much off the bat here all we have is the seashell machine over here so 500 seashells we can make that summer gift like we thought and then we got to go ahead and actually do this little obby to get to this next area i'm actually really bad like I was saying, I'm actually really bad at obbies, so this world is not going to be very fun for me. Anyways, let's just keep moving. Um, So, oh, look, wait, there's actually an egg over here. Let's go look at what this egg is. So if we come over here, this egg actually has a two times huge chance. This is actually really cool. I actually really like this idea. So it's not like too complicated where it takes like hours to find a 2x egg or a 10x egg. You could pretty much just have to do these like simple obbies and then you can get access to an egg. That is better than the typical one from the first area. It seems like this is going to be a very good event for free to play players. Uh, let's look. At, I can't even see like I believe I can't see everything just because my graphics are so low. I had my graphics quality. Oh, OK, so yeah, there is a lot more to this world. Holy make sure you turn up your graphics settings or you won't be able to see a thing. All right. So we're heading over here. Doesn't look too hard, at least. So this area requires you to make golden pets. So kind of annoying. <laughs> so in order to make golden pets, we have to go back to the supercomputer, which means that I think we have to go back to the void world. So we're just going to teleport there. Because we open those eggs, I think all of these should be the eggs from the new world. So combining these should be enough to get that mission done. We have another easy mission here. So all we have to do is destroy coin jars. Let's do that. As you can see on both sides, we have some stuff. So it looks like there's some free diamonds that you can get every once in a while. 
I bet there's a very good egg up there. But trust me, I do not want to do the obby to get over there. I am good for now. All right, so I totally did the obby to get to the next island. I totally did not teleport over here. So let's look at what our new mission is. This time around, we have to make 10 rainbow pets. So we actually definitely do not have enough to do that. Let's actually open up some eggs and hopefully get some better stat pets. All right, so in the zone, I didn't actually notice, but over here, we actually have where the Tiki egg hunt starts. So this is really cool. But I guess to get here, you need the final island unlocked, which is the volcano island. So we can't really see it up there, but we just unlocked this one. So we're going to go up there and keep moving along. And then here in this plot, we actually have the jungle boss fight. So we can see this actually starts in two hours. So we're going to have to wait and see how good that thing is. We're going to start opening up this egg though. I definitely will have another video out soon with a good loadout for the jungle boss fight. So that's going to be a completely separate video. I'll probably have to participate in at least like two to three of the boss fights before I can make a definitive good setup for it. So this boss fight is still going to be a huge pain because we have to wait every few hours to be able to test it. This is not something I could just test over and over again to have out to you guys soon because it's on a timer. We will have to wait for quite a while. All right, you guys. So I definitely should have been doing this with my main account because I'm moving through these levels extremely slowly. Now, of course, to go to each of the new levels, you can do this parkour. But once you unlock the level, you could also just teleport. So because my parkour skills are extremely lacking, I assume this is what I'm going to be doing most of the time. But if you guys are more skilled, then I'm guessing that doing that would probably be just as quick. Now that we're up here in the final area, though, let's place some stuff and uh, let's go explore a little bit. So over here, we have another egg. So this is going to be a 2x huge chance. So that's pretty good. But let's see if we can find one of those 10x eggs. All right. So up here on this ship, which is basically the end of the parkour over here. We have another 2x egg, so let's go to the other side and see if we can find that 10x egg. All right, so we have another 2x egg here. Let's keep moving. Hopefully, we can find that 10x egg because it seems like all of these eggs that we go to are all just 2x's. Not sure if there's supposed to be like a better place. Let's go over here on the ship, and we have another 2x egg. So I don't know if we're doing something wrong. Seems like every island we've ever been to, we only find these 2x eggs. Uh, we actually have a rare enchant machine over here. So let's see if we can get anything good with 35,000 diamonds. And we lost like 30,000 diamonds. All right. So nothing there. Let's just quickly check these other eggs. See if we could find anything more than a 2x egg chance. I don't know. We must just be getting really unlucky right now. Because I think all we've seen are 2x eggs. Go. Let's keep going further down. Oh, okay. So we have a 5x huge chance. So this is good. Except for the fact that you don't have access to the higher level stat pets is the only thing but definitely having a 5x huge chance is going to be very good i think a good strategy if you guys want to find one of these 10x eggs probably starting at the top and just jumping down with a hoverboard is going to be your best bet to go through all of the eggs really quickly without having to do all the different obstacle courses constantly honestly though i think this update is really cool i'm definitely interested to see how the boss fight goes as well as the little egg hunt event that seems like this is going to be really cool honestly for a weekly update this is a decent amount of content this world is pretty sick let me just double check the update log and see if there's anything we haven't seen yet really we got we saw the tiki egg hunt the boss fight summer pack summer boost surfboard that seems like pretty much it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this update. I'm going to go ahead and do that method for trying to find the 10x egg. And I'm just going to go as high as I can and then jump down all of the islands looking for that 10x egg. So hopefully I can get that huge pineapple monkey. And I'll see you guys in the later video with the setup for the boss fight. Peace out.